Madrid a couple of weeks ago. And they're also held by Levante last week, so they got the 18 goals. <laughs> Bless them. 18 <laughs> goals in 18 starts. Oh. Here is Alexis on the blind side of the Malaga defence. And clips the post. Well, he's in good form, Alexis. I thought that was going to hit the net. There is Messi, up to his old tricks. And taken down just on the extreme of the area. That's a very clumsy challenge. And you're right, it's right, right on the edge, Rob. And it's Angaleri who's the lucky man. And he deliberately sticks the leg out when Messi goes past him, and then he puts his hand up as if to say, ah, I didn't touch him. This is a great ball. Onside, the hand goes up, but he's onside, clips the outside of the post. Dani Alves, no doubt. That's a great pass. Now, they're appealing for offside, but he wasn't offside. I've seen it twice now. He dinks it, passed. Willie Caballero, who's star three years of age. A veteran of these fixtures. And uh, aims for the top it's corner. Safe. And it's, uh, he did something acrobatic and flashy from Valdez to keep it out. It's a good save. Bernd Schuster's asking the question. <laughs> well, as, all you can do is get it up over the wall, hit the target, and it looked like it was heading towards the post. But he can't take a chance. That might have been going inside the post or outside. I think That's back a to great Valdez save. knew exactly where the super slow mo camera was placed for yeah. that one. Top class save, yes, which is nice to see as well. Oh. Good first touch, Caballero comes and well does enough to unbalance Lionel Messi. Well, two one on ones. Willie Caballero's come out, he's made himself big, spread himself. The first time he did it against Alexis, this time Messi. Maybe the first touch could have been a wee bit better, and I think Messi's stretching for it just there. And he lobs it. Wide of the far post. <laughs> They've had two good chances, Rob. That is the all the experience that goes with him, Rob. Good target man now. Oh, says you won't see that happen too many times. He left the ball behind him, but he gets it back very quickly. Things up with uh, Jordi Alba. Ball floating through. Alves with time and space and onside. Caballero once more flaps it away to Sony. Rob, that was big. Will that come on? He's actually the last Malaga player to score a goal. That was uh, over a month ago when uh, he got the goal. Look at this for a run from Alves on the blind side. Yeah, but why didn't he control it, Rob? You know why? It's just a first time ball, I think, on the volley here. Just stick it back in. And he's taken two touches and tried to chip the keeper even since he uh, actually arrived at this club as uh, an emergency signing from Elche. He's going to be busy again as it's Fabregas bearing down oh. the goal. <laughs> oh, poor old Pedro lost his footing at the vital moment. Wide positions are catching him out. Good defending, though, I have to say, from Sanchez. He gets his body in the way and then that slip. He's trying to be a little deliver. This is where they have a slight height advantage, Malaga. Some heavy weights in there. Oh. oh, Valdez has to make the save of the evening so far. I think it's Palovsky actually got a connection on the ball. He have a good time though. Here's Alves. To Alexis Sanchez manages to get the cross in. Oh. Everybody's slipping in there, and it falls to Alba. Another brilliant save this time from Caballero. Oh, he's a great keeper, isn't he, Rob? And we said he was going to have to have a good game, and he's having one at the moment. 32 minutes, and they can't get past Willie. This is the free kick. There you go. Angolari near post. He gets up in front of everybody, and that's a super reflex save. Just like that as well. Willie Caballero, left-hand side. He saves from Jordi Alba. Well, it's nil-nil, but he's down only a long way away from the pitch. Yep. And the referee uh, was very close, and to be fair to the Malaga players, there were not too many complaints. Here's Alexis Sanchez. Dips the shoulder, tries to shake off Antunes. He does so. Gets the cross in. Oh. And eventually cleared off the line by Ferreira. Well, they're getting behind the ball. <coughs> they're really doing a defensive job here. Man. Yeah, five or six at least in this first half hour. This is the target in this occasion, Pedro. But whenever they've hit the target, it's either the defenders get the block in, like there. Or Willie Caballero's big and saves and credit to him. Flavio Ferreira gets his body in the way.
That's what he's there for. Espanyol at 7 o'clock. And on Wednesday, Athletic Bilbao, Atletico Madrid. 7 o'clock start in that one. As Caballero comes and misses out, and it was just a flip. But he's your the hour back. He's he's right well. the game, he? he's, so, he's so quick. He's come from behind. He's onside. Look at the acceleration. He flicks it over the top of Willy Caballero and onto the top of the net. He's so unlucky. And for somebody who hasn't scored this season, he's had two chances. And it's Messi who provides the ammunition once again. Oh, PK takes it on the chest and then, well, under pressure, flips it over the top. It looks like Ignacio Camacho got in the way. Let's see. Good chest control. And it does, comes off the thigh of Camacho. Six minutes for Malaga to hold on to get to the harbour of half time. This time, PK. Oh, oh, oh. No messing. He's their best chance of a goal at the moment, Shall <laughs> PK. Two goals oh. in two weeks. It had to come, Rob. It was coming. They've created enough chances. Lovely little flick on at the near post. He's, he should never have had the time to take it down on his chest, Rob. Just like he did, what, a minute earlier, he's taken on his chest and had a shot that was blocked by Camacho. But this time he found himself totally unmarked. Great ball in. There's the flick on at the near post from Alexis. And he's got time to take it on his chest and stick it in the back of the net past Willy Caballero before anybody can get near him. I think it's poor defending from Malaga. Well, he'd waited 11 months for a league goal then two come in very quick succession. Credit to Alexis, he's got up really well and got the flick on at the near post. I think that's what's known in the business as a net buster. <laughs> well, one of them was going to go in. Here's Jordi Alba. Alba draws Sanchez again, leaves him for dead, stumbles, plays it to Xavi, Xavi to Messi, Messi takes his time. Hips it brilliantly over the top. Fabregas and Caballero to the rescue once more. Well, superb play. Once again, Jordi Alba. Breathtaking. Messi. Look at the pass for Sesk. Lovely control and on the half volley. There is nowhere. And the referee will draw the first half to a close. The first half, which has gone pretty much as we expected. Malaga. And also tired because Tito wanted to win the title and played his best team. Gone. Fair amount of workspace. But one two and Tunis again with the cross. Pavlovsky almost gets there in. He needed a fantastic clearance once more from Jordi Alba. Who this is the cross from Antunes. Well, there's two of them coming in on the end of it. I can't believe neither of them. Pavlovsky misses it. What about Jordi Alba's play? That's fantastic. I have to say, wonderful play. And Juan Mi is the other one. He's coming in behind. He's pulling the shirt of Jordi Alba. That's not a foul. And Barcelona get away with it. And credit to Jordi Alba. There's a swarm of four or five Malaga players. Nice ball from Xavi. Alexis squirming, trying to find an inch. Caballero with his well, umpteenth save of the evening. I think that could well be his best, Rob. Hart Alexis is allowed to get space here. Taking one touch and he arrives in pain. Alexis Sanchez flips it to Fabregas. Fabregas night take. <laughs> once more, Caballero saves. Well, he's a serial offender, Pablo Perez. And he was the one that hit Busquets late, very late. Lovely play, good touch, and well done, Sesk. Well done, Willie Caballero. How many saves has he made now? Oh, it's a whole variety, a whole textbook of saves, and that Nick Willie Caballero. PK's up again, off the post. He's more of a threat than Messi at the moment. Now it's Fabregas to that threat. PK curls it in. Defenders fighting each other. Now it's Busquets. Well, two brave blocks as Barcelona come on strong. He could have had a hat trick. George PK could have had a hat trick here. He's had so many opportunities. There's the header off the post. And it's all hands to the pumps for Malaga at the moment. He is a real threat, isn't he, at the other end? And it's Sergio Sanchez has beaten at the foot. Occasionally like to walk the ball into the goal. They've been more forthright under the Argentinian. And uh, far more dangerous at set pieces. Here's Messi. Messi to Pedro. 
Pedro steps carefully and finishes brilliantly. Well, another assist from Messi, but a wonderful finish, Rob, wasn't it, from the little winger. And Pedro is in great form. First, 16th goal of the season, that is, for the little man. And 12 in the league. Well, that releases the pressure for Barcelona. It's Pedro's 49th La Liga goal. He's one off the half a century. Well done, Dani Alves here. Lovely ball to Messi, and then Messi feeds it into Pedro. Pedro skits inside on Ancaleri and clips it inside the far post, this one. Great finish. Well, Messi may not be scoring the goals at the moment, but he's creating them. Created the hat-trick for Telio midweek, yeah. and his was the final touch which set up Pedro Rodriguez for his yep. 16th goal of the season. He's 12th in La Liga, he's Barcelona's top scorer in the Spanish Championship. Oh, oh. Tell you, that swerved and dipped viciously in the air, and it needed saving from Valdez. It was, it was Duda who okay. went for that shot, clever from Duda, wasn't it? Almost caught him out. Work of art to save, though, from Victor Valdez. He haven't fully taken to Tata Martino. Criticism very unjust, I think, Rob. They've lost two games all season. Here's Messi. Here is Messi. Stepping on the gas, gives it to Pedro. Pedro across, and that one is walked in by Alexis Sanchez. Barcelona now, without doubt, going back to the top of La Liga for a 59th week in a row and that's Alexis 12th goal of the season which means he's level now with Pedro two joint league goal scorers Pedro and Alexis and Pedro with the assist a great run here from Messi as he picks it up super piece of skills and he's coming across on his left foot he spots Pedro good ball and then unselfishly Pedro tees it up at the far post for Alexis to tap in and this game is well and truly over Rob Look at the options he had as well. He had Jordi Alba on the outside. Uh, it is Telio coming on for Pedro. No necessity to take any more risk, is there? You know, Pedro took a bit of a battering before. They can rest him now. And normal game time from Telio, who scored that hat trick. He's taken his place, and hopefully he can do better. The wall's set. Messi's over the ball, and Chabi's over the ball. One of the two. It's Messi. And still, he awaits. That first goal in four months. Well, that's close. That one was close, and Willie was scrambling across to get a hand to it as it dipped, it curled and dipped. And just under the top of the netting, not too far over the, the crossbar from Messi on that occasion. I think Willie had it covered, though. I mean, up maybe to come on. Could be the right for the Chavi. It could be the magic wand, Messi. It is Chavi. And it's close. Close, but no cigar. He got to hit the target. That's the first criteria of taking a free kick. He hits it with a lot of power and he bends it around the wall, but he doesn't hit the target, Rob. Not too far away. Inches wide of the far post. After, what, four months uninjured? Well, what a reception for Ibrahim Atalai. He maybe thought he'd seen the last of the camp now. Started only one game two seasons ago. There's no doubt about that as referee decides it's over. Same old, same old. Barcelona brushing aside the challenge of Malaga and the, the border of problems that they've had this week. For the 59th week in a row, a record.